There are heroes among us. We've watched our neighbors answer the call from late hours on the front lines in hospitals to volunteer hours at local food banks. The darker the days, the brighter they shined. We show up for one another here on the High Plains. It's what we do, and few have done it as often as Liz Hartzell. That's why we're honoring her tonight. She is a remarkable woman and an angel among us. Spearman, Texas, population 3,368, a small town at the top of the Texas Panhandle, home to a lot of windmills and some of the finest people the High Plains has to offer. He is my son, he has a mother. Liz Hartzell is one of them. She has blessed every single person she has ever met. And I don't know of anyone who doesn't love Tia Liz. Her acts of kindness landed her a nickname and a reputation of helping anyone, anytime. Liz is right there to offer a word, to give advice, to try to help them. And so in reality, she becomes Tia Liz or Aunt Liz to all these people that may not have a connection or uh, somebody else they can lean on. Liz Hartzell, the provider, the caregiver, the hero, the lifesaver. Liz, the humble. I don't feel like I've done anything special. I mean, I, I'm not, I've not done anything that anybody else hasn't, and definitely not anything that anybody shouldn't. That's where her friends and family disagree. And she very much deserves it, because she doesn't shout it from the rooftops. She just, she's so humble. She doesn't want to be recognized. She doesn't, and she never receives anything. She does deserve it. Tia Liz, the saint of sorts for the people of Spearman. She gives her time, her money, her heart, and her home to complete strangers. I've seen her pick up hitchhikers, um, carnival people that needed a place to stay. Um, she gives out to the homeless. She t has taken in many kids, people that just needed an overnight stay, um, friends, family members. When you ask her why, what did she say? Because that's what we're supposed to do. That's what the Lord calls us to do. That's why Hartzell is so adamant that this recognition belongs to someone else. Don't, I do not deserve this. I don't understand what, what is going on. I've done nothing that nobody else, I've done nothing except for serve others is what we're supposed to do. Liz Hartzell is not just the director of nursing in Hansford Manor. She's been a constant companion, a gracious giver, and a faithful friend. Some would even say she's a godsend to the people of her community. I believe there are angels that walk amongst us, and I think she is one. I think that I truly describe her as where there is room in her heart, there's room in her home, and there's always going to be room in her heart. Hartzell's kindness has been well documented. She moved out of her parents' home when she was still a teenager so she could help a friend care for her new baby. In her early 20s, Hartzell began caring for her sister-in-law who suffers from a seizure disorder. That child, now an adult, and still lives with her. She's adopted one son, cared for his brother, and recently got legal guardianship of their sister who's 21 years old and was diagnosed with an anoxic brain injury. She requires 24 hours care. Liz Hartzell is a remarkable woman. Yeah, so this story continues online. We have her nomination letters, and you're going to want to hear Hartzell's sister talk about the night she literally decided to open her home and her heart to members of a carnival who just happened to be passing through town. That's waiting for you at MyHighPlains.com.